Hi everybody, Matt from 360 Labs here. I wanna to put together a quick side-by-side -side comparison of three of the most popular immersive video hosting platforms, including YouTube VR, VOVR, and MetaQuest TV. Now, YouTube VR has a pretty bad reputation with immersive content creators right now for having heavily compressed content and uh, limited resolution. So we wanted to illustrate just how bad the problem really is. So let's jump in. All right, so before we get started at looking at the comparison, let's take a look at what I gave to each platform. YouTube VR allows upload up to 8K, so I gave them 7680 by 7680. They also allow uploading of ProRes, so I gave them a ProRes 422 file, which is gonna have a very high bit rate of 3200 megabytes per second. But then, of course, it's streaming in the test at 4K because that's as high as you can go with YouTube VR. And Meta TV suggests to limit your stereoscopic 360 videos to 5760 by 5760, and that was an H.265, the bit rate of about 75 megabytes per second, and that is gonna be streaming at the full 5.7K. DOVR accepts uploads up to 8K, so they've been given 7680 by 7680, also an H.265 with a bit rate of around 107 megabytes per second, and that is also streaming in 5.7K. So the video we're looking at is a 3D 360 video shot in the Grand Canyon with one of the earliest Google Jump prototypes. We recently remastered it in 8K per eye. Each video is a recording inside the MetaQuest 2 headset using SideQuest. If you'd like to check out the videos yourself in VR, I've also included the links to each platform below in the description. It's really difficult to see what I'm seeing in the headset considering that everything in a headset kind of looks a little bit more zoomed in. So I've used the magnification effect to call out some of the areas of detail. One of the first things you'll notice is that Everything on the DOVR side kind of looks very saturated, and the reason for this is that they decided to go with a Rec 2020 default color space, despite most of the stuff on their platform probably being 709, so it does change the colors and tend to make them a little bit more saturated. Both MetaQuest TV and DOVR look a lot better than YouTube, with MetaQuest TV having a slight edge, uh, which is interesting considering it was only a 5760 by 5760 upload. With people and motion, especially people farther in the background, um, you're just seeing tons of artifacts and digital artifacts and blockiness that you're just not getting on the other platforms. In here, the detail in the rocks, a lot worse on the YouTube platform. But bear in mind that this is YouTube streaming at only 4K because the platform limits 4K and you can't watch anything higher than 4K on YouTube VR. Aside from the limitation of only being able to choose 4K for streaming in YouTube VR, it also seems more heavily compressed. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of 4K from both YouTube and DOVR. As you can see, the details on DOVR are a lot more pronounced in 4K than they are on YouTube. Now you can watch YouTube all the way up to 8K by using the browser on your headset and going directly to youtube.com but this only works reliably on the Quest 3 because it has AV1 encoding. But in this comparison, you can see the 8K version of YouTube compared to Meta TV and DOVR, and you can see a lot of the detail has come back. So there's definitely some potential here for high quality, it's just that they haven't bothered to put that in the YouTube VR app. So as you can see, the quality on YouTube is just not there. If you're an immersive content creator and you'd like YouTube to do better, 
please share this video. Go to my website to see our blog post that goes into more detail about the problem. And also, um, nag YouTube. Get on their website, use the feedback form, tell them that you'd like them to open up higher resolutions for immersive 180 and 360 VR videos. Thanks a lot for watching.